trip in Ho Chi Minh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video on YouTube and if you are new to my channel and you are interested in learning more about local lifestyle, diving into new cultures and simply getting inspired by how a human being can make a difference, subscribe to my channel. Last month I traveled to Ho Chi Minh and it was my first time in Vietnam and I loved it. I love their food, their people, their nature, history, lifestyle and you can literally keep continuing the list. The few things you need to know about Ho Chi Minh is the huge line at the airport in order for you to get visa on arrival. In order for you to get a visa on arrival, you need to apply, you need to get the visa invitation that you need to submit online. So you will get this kind of letter and then once you get this letter, you just go to visa application center directly and at the airport, pay. No camera? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not allowed to have a camera. Okay. What we're gonna cover in this video? We're gonna travel to Gu Chi Tunnel, try Vietnamese food, ride a bike like a local, drink a wine at the highest building in Ho Chi Minh, and something unique is waiting for you at the end of the video. First thing we're gonna explore is the longest tunnel in the world. And apparently while shooting the video, I was saying the name incorrectly, like Chi Chu Temple. <laughs> Chi Cha Temple. And this is the correct way. Gucci Tunnel, Gucci Tunnel, Gucci Tunnel. Gucci Tunnel is the longest tunnel in the world. They were used by Viet Cong soldiers, Vietnamese communists, as hiding spots during combat, as well as serving as communication and supply routes, hospitals, food, and weapon caches, and living quarters for numerous North Vietnamese fighters. The tunnel system were of great importance to the Viet Cong in their resistance to American forces and helped to counter the growing American military effort. On January 19th, the largest and best coordinated air campaign of the war is launched against the enemy. Did you know that throughout the duration of the war, from 1965 until 73, 8 million tons of bombs were dropped over Vietnam. This was the more than three times the amount of use in World War II. This is the evidence of how strong the bombs were. Many of bombs haven't been found yet, so it's still dangerous. This stone is for air circulation. People, people live underground. The most important thing, the most important thing, that's gonna be air. This is where Soviet Vietnamese were attacking American forces. This is a one secret ancient door to get down the tunnel. Imagine almost one month to stay in the tunnel. My generation, we need to thank so much to our ancestors. The good chance to shoot an AK-47. You can also shoot an AK-47 in post-Soviet Union countries. Now I'm going to tell you how and where is the best place to meet the sunset. Okay, now I'm going to the 50th floor to see Ho Chi Minh from the highest building in Ho Chi Minh City. I had two options to go to a sky deck to pay around 200,000 dong which is quite expensive and you're not getting any drink, any, anything. So I remembered my trip to Singapore where I could go to the same level but also take a free drink. So I decided to do the same in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh. So now I'm going to 50th floor to have some drinks and enjoy the view. So same price or maybe even less price but much higher value.
Vietnam. It's a conference for developers where my friend Kermaze from Kazakhstan was a speaker and I'm really really proud of her. But right now we are going to discover and have some drinks and food on Bouvien Street which is really really famous among foreigners and at the same time among local people. So let's explore it. Uh, usually during night this place closes completely like around 9 to 10 p.m. So it's 9 p.m. here and there are no cars at all and we're just walking in Bouvien Street and it's really nice and it's getting yeah the rain is just starting so people are just taking their tables inside The ambience is really good. It reminds me of Bangkok. I don't remember the name, but it reminds me of the same place that I've been in Bangkok, and it's really, really good. It's very funny, it's very friendly, and it's very, uh, I can say cheap, based on the Malaysian standards. So yeah, if you are about to come to Ho Chi Minh, definitely make your way to Wudian Street. It has many, many different stuff that you can see like that oh like this oh my god it, it started raining really 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 crazy while it's raining we are going to have a foot massage and apparently me buying this hat was the very best decision as uh, I'm not wet yeah so we are going to have huh? yeah 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 <laughs> this hat it really works <laughs> Okay, we are going to have um, a foot massage which costs like four dollars. Yeah. And of course, if you want to get to know more about the country, try their local food. Not all Vietnamese speak English, so we found some difficulties to order, but as I said, people in Vietnam are so kind, always willing to help you. Like our new friend, Joy. really funny to see a servant sitting just in the front of you <laughs> like she's your guest okay so we're gonna try our first Vietnamese food I'm not sure what is the name of this dish but probably the name will be around somewhere here so it comes with some salad and peanuts and also a sauce that you need to pour a bit on top. <laughs> okay, it's on top, and then you literally like flick it. So something like this. It's really delicious. It doesn't have this kind of smell or taste, it's very very delicious. And then, after this, take this kind of basilic and put it in your mouth. This is how locals eat. Our second meal is fish. Fish marinated in some kind of sauce and comes with basilic. It's one of the amazing fishes that I've tried in my life. It's sweet and sour, it's crunchy outside and very soft inside. It is so delicious. I think this is my first time seeing that they put ice in beer. Look at this. So this is a Saigon special beer. It's 4.9% and they add ice in a beer. Interesting. My friend from Kazakhstan is going to play Adai Chi, which is a very very important song for me because it's uh, it shows or it represents the the song from my hometown, from my region where I'm from. So yeah, enjoy.
Ho Chi Minh is a city that will make you come back to Vietnam. Within three days, I really got to know more about Vietnamese history, how strong Vietnamese people are, and I'm really, really proud of them. What is the name of this? Long Cú. Long Cú. In Vietnam, you're going to be welcomed with an open heart by locals without expecting something in return. You will fall in love with Vietnamese food and you will crave it even after going back to your home country. If I asked to give a shape to Vietnam, that would be hard. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, throw the thumbs up and share with your friends. Next video, I'm not sure that we are going to travel or not, but something interesting is waiting for you. Something more inspiring and yeah, as I said in the beginning, how a human being can make a difference. Stay tuned. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.